just got off of work. That's a beautiful day. And uh, we just finished eating supper. So I thought I'd just go ahead and take me a little bike ride. Since I haven't had the ghost out in a while, you guys haven't seen me ride it in a while, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. Get the cobwebs off of it, out of it. I've had this bike probably close to two years now. And the battery on it is starting to get a little bit weak. So I'll probably make it the rest of this year through the winter. And then probably spring I'll have to get a new battery for it. But you know I'm impressed with the stock carburetor that's on this bike. It's a PZ30B which is a pumper carburetor. I always did like those carburetors, but it functions so well on this bike. And as you can probably hear, it runs really good still. The jets didn't get plugged up because I've had it sitting in there for probably a month and a half, maybe two months since I rode this one. I've been focusing a lot of attention on my KPM and my KPX and KPD actually. <laughs> All the life and bikes I've been really focused on. Well, it's nice to get this uh, Dong Fang Venom Ghost Chapa 250 out once in a while too. Cause I enjoy, I do enjoy riding it as well. It's about 78 degrees or something like that. Perfect day. Actually, it's almost just a little bit warm compared to what it has been. I took a ride Saturday morning on the KPX. I have that recorded too. I don't know if I'm going to post it or not. But I did a short ride and it was 39 degrees. And then the next day, Sunday, I took a ride out of my FJR, and it was 38 degrees. So, being as warm as it is now, it's a big change. Monday. Ain't nothing like getting out and enjoying the nice weather, I tell you. This is not good this thing idles. It's 
Sounds good. I'll tell you what, let me get off here and let you see it in the sun. Some of you guys might be interested in buying one of these or something. You want to check it out. As you can see, it's got the lights on the side. Got my really nice looking hard bags on there. Kind of makes it look like a street glide, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, I think it looks really good with it. Now, a lot of people, if they get this, probably go with a flat black to match the theme of the bike. Personally, I kind of like the gloss on it got a glossy engine on it so I think it goes well I got my exhaust wrapped headlights extra headlights got good sound to it and I changed the tires this comes with like a uh, 80 20 80 street 20 off-road tire and I just went to straight street tires on mine it's got cast wheels on it Looks really good. I know Venom was sold out of these bikes for a while, but I think they got a supply of them back in in case you're interested in getting one if you wanted one of these. My thoughts on the bike is that it's got a good seating position. The seat's pretty comfortable actually. I changed some things on it. Um, the throttle that comes on it is a little bit sloppy. I didn't really care for that. So I put a Nibby throttle on there and those aren't that expensive. But it really makes it nice and tight. So I like it. And I put some foam grips on it, make it comfortable, and it cuts down on vibrations because this bike um, doesn't have a counterbalancer in the engine, so it has some vibrations to it. And you do feel it in the bars and foot pegs a little bit. It's not horrible. doing a lot of videos on repairs and stuff and I thought I'd do a couple on me riding so I did a couple that I mentioned earlier and then uh, I might post this video depending on how it looks and stuff but got off vacation a couple weeks ago it was really fun uh, to go fishing I haven't done that in a long time so that was a lot of fun looking at me over there he's probably thinking man I'd like to have one of them bikes <laughs>
You know, you see people all the time when they buy one of these bikes, not just a ghost, but one of the other bikes, carburetor bikes, first thing they want to do is change the carburetor. And I do that kind of stuff myself too, but you know, you don't always need to. This bike runs really good with the stock carburetor. It idles good, has good acceleration. I think the only thing I had to do was change the uh, main jet, I believe, a little bit larger main jet. Opened up my exhaust just a little bit. Take this. I'm gonna turn the gas off on it. Let it run till it dies. That way, I get the gas out of the carburetor. Give me one last look at it. That's a good-looking bike. KPV Thunder KPM KPX. Well, that green is awesome looking on that bike to you. And over there is the Beast. The Yamaha FJR 1300. I got a little bit of everything now. Got me a, a dirt bike. A street and trail. Street cruiser bike. Street cruiser bike. Scooter. Talk about gas mileage. Woo! Been great. And got me a kind of a sport bike pretty fast all right I'm gonna let that run a while so uh, runs out of fuel and then uh, I'm gonna go in the house all right that's all I got for you today appreciate you guys coming along for a short ride and I'll see you on the next one